Good morning, 9 a.m. beginners. How are you? I love, love to teach beginners. I think um, that's one of my uh, forties because not only um, enjoy it, but also love to see a beginner's mind because have not much of an ego or of an expectation. They come to class and they don't know much and uh, you get to see the progress little by little in their practices and this is extremely, extremely beautiful. Creo que me encanta dar clase de beginner, creo que es de mis fuertes también porque sé apreciar la mente de un principiante donde no hay tanto ego, donde no hay tanta expectativa del maestro de tu cuerpo, de tu este, performance ese día, sino más que nada fluyen, absorben, todo es nuevo y es muy lindo verlos progresar. Uh, muchas clases en internet ahorita pues están así con viñaza, ashtanga, súper avanzado. Y alguien que nunca ha hecho yoga a lo mejor le pone play en Google o en YouTube y se quedan así. ¿Cuándo voy a poder hacer eso? Pues esta es una clase que te voy a introducir a Saludos al Sol. Va a ser una clase dedicada como tutorial a Sun Salutations. I think a lot of people is trying to pick up yoga practice online and they go to different resources like YouTube or Google classes and there's this very advanced, advanced pinyasa yoga classes or ashtanga classes and the eyes go like the emoji like what? And they get you know off by it and turn it off. I will never be able to do this. Well this is a realistic tutorial of sun salutations. How do you start even with the work? So this class today, beginners, is a tutorial of sun salutation half style, sun salutation A and sun salutation B. So good luck, I hope you enjoy it. Try to do what you can. We're gonna start from less to more. And of course, we're gonna start warming up because we cannot go right away into the impact, especially if you're not used to. Okay, so let's begin today by standing near to a wall. I think I have a wall by me. And something that I get my beginner students to start getting familiar with the strength on their arms and the strength on the wrist. So as they get close to the wall, this is a wall right here, putting your hands right underneath the shoulder this way. Can you see my hands right there? You're going to do push-ups against the wall. Vamos a hacer un poquito de planchas contra la pared. How do you do these ones? ¿Cómo vas a hacer estas? Well, the distance on the wall will be your arms and your feet. Try not to make it close or you're going to touch too, too uh, fast with the wall. So you move away this way. And if you want to make it a little bit more advanced, give a little bit of a step back with your hands. Don't do the hands up here. Do the hands right underneath the shoulders this way. So if you see, I have more like a... 45 degree angle with the body. Now, suck the navel in. Vas a meter la barriguita al centro. Hands underneath the shoulders. Manos abajo de hombros. And you're gonna flex the elbows in such a manner, in, in, in. And on the inhale, you're gonna push away until the arms are straight. That is a Chaturanga style push up. Esta es una plancha contra la pared que haces el push-up con los codos hacia adentro. We're going to do 10. Vamos a inhalar, hacer la flexión. Exhalo, regresa. Inhale, do the flexion in, in, in. Exhale, go up. Inhale, do the flexion in, in, in. Exhale, up. Inhale, do the flexion in, in, in. Exhale up. Avoid the elbows opening. The elbows are in, hugging the rib cage. Inhale. Exhale. Five more. In. Cinco más. Exhalo. Sin que se te abran los codos. Cuatro más. Four more. Inhale. Exhale. Inhale. Exhale. And inhale. And exhale, última, last time, inhale, and exhale. Ha. 
this is a good way to start this tutorial to get you a little bit of a feel on how the hands are taking it, how the muscle is taking it. And this is what you need to learn for chaturangas is you don't want the elbows ever open this way. You always want to work with the elbows in and the hands in this position. That's what we were doing against the wall. You were here, inhale, exhale. And this is exactly what a chaturanga is. Okay, second part, we're going to start warming up into your lower back, hands on the ground, knees on the ground, getting into all four position. Cat cow, this is going to be great for you to start warming up into your back. Inhale, lifting seat bones, lifting chest, looking up, 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 levantamos, cabeza arriba, isquiones arriba. Exhalation, round your spine, exhala, te vas. En redondo, en redondo, eso. Inhale otra vez, inhale one more time, lift up, chest up, lift, this is going to be great to warm up for back extensions, exhale, round your back one more time, scoop, 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 two more times, inhalamos, la parte de vaca, isquiones arriba, brazos derecho, exhalo, la parte de tu gatito enojado, te vas en curvo, en redondo, una vez más, last time, inhale, go up. And on the exhalation, you're going to curl the spine under. Go, 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 go. Now with the toes tucked under, you're going to sit on a cushion or on a fold blanket and keep the weight on the balls of your foot. Esta va a ser una preparación super importante para saludos al sol. This is a super important preparation for sun salutations. Getting your foot to flex because eventually when you do sun salutation A and B and you are chaturanga to upper dog, you use a lot of the foot to make you move forward and up in this position. El hacer el rol de los dedos cuando estás en plancha y subes a perro boca arriba es buenísimo empezar a abrir tus pies. This is a super preparation. Now, in order to prepare your tricep and your biceps, bring your arms in eagle. Vas a mandar tus brazos en águila. Doesn't matter what arm. And you're going to take a deep inhale. Do seated cat cow. Lift, lift, lift. Exhale, bring the elbows in. Curl and curl. Así con brazos de águila engarzados, haces gato vaca, inhalo, subo, 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 exhalo en redondo. One more time, inhale, bring the elbows up, lift up, rise nice and tall, and on the exhale, curl, curl, curl. And now on the next inhale, release, sueltas, exhale, hands on the ground, manos al piso, Untuck your toes, vas a soltar los empeines, sit down again, and this is going to help you to stretch your ankles, also important for sun salutations. Aquí vas a estar del lado contrario, estirando la parte de enfrente del peine y el tobillo, and do the other side of the eagle arm, vas a hacer el otro lado de tu bracito de águila, así engarzados, Inhalo la parte de vaca de extensión, abres tu espalda, exhalo la parte de succión, te vas al frente y abajo. Inhale one more time, you open up, you lift up, the chest up, and on the exhalation you're going to curl, curl and scoop, scoop, scoop. One last time, inhale, lift, lift, todo hacia arriba. And on the exhalation, you're going to curl back under all the way down. If this was too much for your knees, you can switch to sitting. Inhale up. Levantas. Y en la exhalación vas a bajar tus manos. Ah, you're going to rest your hands. Remove the cushion. Sueltas la cobija. And you go forward, forward, forward onto your belly. Warming up a little bit into your lower back. Vamos a hacer primero un levantamiento sin brazos. We're going to do first a lift without arms. This is a very good technique for you to train your back muscles. Now, bring your arms by your sides, brazos a lo largo del cuerpo, tips of the tops of your feet on the ground, and pain is tocando el piso. Shoulders in. Inhalo arriba con las paletas hacia adentro. Levanta, inhala. Aquí nada más te queda. Just stay right here. So this is a back lift without arms. Esto es un levantamiento de espalda sin brazos. Very, very important to do this 
So you don't get always a pending into bhujangasanas or into upper dogs. Now lift up the legs, levanta las piernas. Now stay up here and if you want, you can bring your arms off the ground as well. Si quieres, levantas todo. Para no hacerte tan dependiente de las levantadas con brazos, aquí estás levantando solo con músculo. Only your muscle is involved. Breathe. Rise. Everything goes up higher. Todo se va más arriba, más arriba. Take another inhale. Inhalo. On the exhale, you go down, down, down. Te quedas aquí abajo. And now slowly, we're going to go into your beautiful child's pose. On the next inhale, you're going to go up into your hands and your knees. And on the exhalation, you're going to go into child's pose and you're going to breathe here three times. Balasana in Sanskrit. La posición del niño se llama en Sanskrito Balasana. We're warming up each part of your body properly so then we can start showing you the variations in Surya Namaskar. Estamos calentando el cuerpo de una manera gentil para ya después empezar a enseñar variaciones de saludos al sol desde muy muy principiantes hasta casi todos los niveles. Now when you're ready, go back to all four position, take up, lift up, rise. And now we're going to practice a very important strife in uh, the flow of yoga. Vamos a practicar una secuencia que es bien importante para el uso y que aprendas a hacer saludos al sol. I think this is the most difficult part for beginners. Creo que esta es la parte un poquito más retadora de principiantes. You go up to a downer facing dog. Hands shoulder width apart, feet hip width apart. And now you stretch. And of course, if you're very beginner, you might be here and with time, your shoulders were open, so there's traction back. Te fijas que tus manos están abiertas como tus hombros, pies como tu cadera, haciendo tracción hacia atrás y la punta de los isquiones hacia el cielo, the tip of the seat bones up towards the ceiling as you stretch. Now, this is the part that I want you to work on and we're going to analyze it together. Look out forward, take a deep inhale and send the right foot forward between your hands. Boom. Okay. In a perfect world, everybody will be able to strive the foot forward all the way here. What happens in reality is you're in down dog, you step the right foot forward, and if you're very new to yoga, or never done yoga before, the foot is only gonna make it here. And then when you go down, your high lunge is gonna have a super hyper extender knee, which is dangerous. So what you need to do is grab your foot and step it forward always if you're not flexible enough to bring it there. Cada que tu pie se quede aquí, lo agarras, lo pones al frente para que no hagas hiperflexión y ya estás ahí. Let's do the other side, hands on the ground, go back to downer facing dog. This is another part that is difficult. Some people feel stuck, stuck. You can put the knee on the ground, take the knee back and then up to down dog. Esa es otra parte difícil, si te cuesta trabajo poner la pierna para atrás. Poquito a poquito, de plano te vas a cuatro puntos y le echas para atrás. Ahora lado izquierdo, left side. On the next inhale, step the left foot forward between your hands. Perfect word situations, you do it and you go here and there is no problem. What happened to majority of beginners? Lo que pasa a la mayoría de los principiantes, el pie llega aquí. Ya no dio más. So what you're going to do literally is grab your foot and step it. Das el paso con la mano y ya aquí queda tu alineamiento correcto de talón sobre rodilla. Those are things you need to know ahead of time because when you are flowing, the teacher usually goes faster. Esas son cosas que necesitas saber porque usualmente luego ya en el flow, el maestro se va más rápido. And let's go back again into downer facing dog. Vámonos otra vez a perro. Yes. In sun salutations, you're going to do tons and tons of downer facing dogs. Let's try that one more time. Look out forward, inhale. And on the exhale, right foot between your hands. One step, and if you couldn't make it, help it. Land. On the exhale, bring your leg back. El otro lado, inhalo. Tu pierna izquierda al frente. Ese paso largo en una moción, y si no pudiste, agárralo al frente. 
And now bring your leg back. Important in sun salutation, back to downward facing dog. And now slowly, Utatasana, which you're going to do many as well. Te vamos a ir a colgante, que vamos a hacer muchísimos aquí. Standing forward bent, little steps forward and then steps back. This is where people need to know the risk of bending the knees or working sun salutations, legs straight. Aquí es una parte importantísima donde hay que educar si vamos a trabajar el saludo al sol con las piernas estiradas o si vamos a micro doblar o doblar mucho. Backs are constantly in inflammation. Sacroiliac syndrome. Herniated disc. Please bend your knees, take the weight out of the back and put it on your glutes and on your quads. Gente que tiene síndrome del sacroilaco hipermovible. Gente con dolores de espalda por ciática, discos herniados. Quítale el trabajo a la espalda, dobla rodillas y pon a trabajar glúteo y pierna. So this will be your version if you're on the uh, symptoms that I give you before. Este va a ser tu alineamiento si tienes algún síntoma. If you're in remission and you have no problems and your doctor tells you it's okay, then you can try the legs straight. Healthy backs and very open hamstrings can do legs straight. You look down, feet is hip with a part. There is a part in Surya Namaskar, A or B, that they always say halfway up, mitad arriba. And you know, people that don't know, or they don't have a mirror, what they do is halfway up and they do the movement with the neck, as I'm doing right now. This is not good for the neck. What you have to do is learn to move uh, the entire spine in one line. Te tienes que enseñar a mover toda la espina en mitad de arriba y no nada más el cuello. As such, inhale, halfway, inhalo, mitad de arriba. Instead of moving only the neck, everything moves up, todo se mueve hacia arriba, everything moves, everything moves, everything moves. And now when you're up, you can look forward. Ya que subiste todo, ya entonces el cuello también se estira. And on the exhale, Curve full of your back and la exhalación. Cuidado con tu espalda. Succión de tu vientre. Suction of your belly. Fall down, 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 down. What if I don't touch the ground? ¿Qué pasa si soy principiante? Mi flexibilidad no me lo permite y no puedo tocar el suelo. Easy. Grab your shins. Agarra tus espinillas. And it goes like this. Inhalo. Mitad arriba, extiendo, extiendo. That will be for somebody that cannot touch the ground. Si alguien no puede tocar el piso, manos a las espinillas. Exhalo de ahí, bajo, bajo. Remember, bend your knees if you need to. Doblando rodillas si lo necesito. Doblo, doblo y doblo. Eso. So let's see if we understand halfway. I'm going to set that a lot. Mitad arriba, inhalo. Todo se extiende. Everything goes up, 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 up. Variation number one on the ground, variation number two on the shins. Uno en el piso, dos en las espinillas. Exhalo bajo. Go down, go down, go down. Bend the knees if you need to. Good. To rise. Esa subida y esa bajada son delicadas para espalda. The lifts and the forward bends are what is delicate for your back. So, if your back again has the symptoms that I told you before, bend your knees. Vamos a hacer la subida siendo bien conscientes de que si tu espalda te duele, dobla rodillas. Arms by your sides, brazos a lo largo del cuerpo. Mucha fuerza, lots of strength on your legs, on your quads, and on the next inhale, like a beautiful line, you rise, rise, come up, touch. And on the exhale, hands in prayer. Ha. And then you came up. So let's do that a few times, this half salutation. Let's go on the way down. Vamos a hacer esto algunas veces. En mitad, saludo al sol. The swan eye forward. Como te vas a ir al frente y abajo. Careful of your back. Inhale, go up. Brazos arriba. Soft bend to the knees, ligero doblez en la rodilla, en la exhalación, 
abriendo espalda, bajo, 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 bajo y cierro, lower, lower and close. Mitad arriba, inhalo, all the body moves up. Exhale, fall down. One breath, inhale, takes you up. Rise, bend the knees if you need to, all the way up. Don't jeopardize your back, bend knees as much as you need. Exhale, close. En español, inhalo, brazos arriba. Con rodillas dobladas, si tu espalda es delicada, exhalo bajo. Espina extendida, extendida, extendida. Inhalo, otra vez mitad de arriba, vámonos todo para arriba, extiende, extiende. En la exhalación, vámonos a bajar, go down, exhale. Y vámonos otra vez, inhalo arriba, derechitos, tocas. Exhalo, hands in prayer, half salutation, one more, mitad saludo al sol, inhalo. Exhalo, cascada, alineamiento, que no te duela la espalda. Inhalo, halfway. Exhale, fall down. And let's get up, inhale, rise, all the way. And exhale, hands in prayer. Okay, so we got majority of the parts we need to be warm ready we're gonna start with the first type of sun salutation half a style sun salutation with low lunches vamos a hacer el primer estilo de saludo al sol que es el de jata normalito con la rodilla abajo en tu desplante start in mountain vamos a empezar en montaña manos juntas levantas el corazón o samasidi however you want to call it Inhalo, brazos arriba. Arms up. Exhale, forward and down. Remember, remember the halfway, how it goes. Full. Todo mitad arriba, inhalo. On the exhalation, forward bend. Doblas, doblas, doblas. Good. Right leg back, pierna derecha atrás. Inhalo. Right away, the knee is going to go down. Very beginners. Keep the hands on the ground and lift the chest. Muy principiantes se quedan aquí, levantan el pecho. Rodillas sobre el talón. And this is it again on the exhale. This is the part that is difficult. You bring the leg off the ground. Scoot your leg back. And right away, bring the knees to the floor. Turn the seat bones up to the ceiling. And we're going to go forward, lowering down, hugging the elbows. And on the next inhale, slide. Do a low cobra. This is a low cobra, nothing too intense. And on the exhalation, push through the hands into the knees, up to down dog. And on the exhale, Go into your dog for three breaths. Just breathe, uh, breathe three times. The other side in Spanish. Here it he comes, the moment of striding, el momento de hacer el paso grande. Look out forward and on the next inhale. Step the right foot forward. Everything was with the right big, 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 big step. Remember, if your foot only make it set, make it forward. And now, close the salutation. Cierra la. Close it in. Exhale, step to the front. And bring the forehead down to the shins, all the way down. And on the next inhale, lift up. 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 And on the exhale, hands in prayer. Okay, that was a very easy salutation. En español ahora, la hacemos en español, le enseñamos otra vez. Sutil, ligerita, manos en montaña, hands in mountain pose. Inhale, bring your arms up. Exhale, exhalo al frente y abajo, doblando rodillas si necesito. 
Inhalo, mitad arriba. Exhalo, doblo. Ahora la izquierda. Pierna izquierda atrás, inhala. Paso grande. Muy principiantes, se quedan aquí, nada más bajan rodilla y abres tu pecho. En la exhalación, te levantas, echas la pierna atrás, rodillas abajo, isquiones se abren, bajas a ocho puntos. Inhala, te extiendes a una cobra bajita. Esta es una bullangasana muy conservadora. Y en la exhalación nos vamos otra vez a las rodillas y a perro boca abajo y respiras tres. Miras al frente, look out forward, listos, ready, step now with the left, inhalo, pierna izquierda, grandote al frente, pick, pick, eso, si no pudiste, llévalo al frente, en la exhalación te cierras, on the exhale you close, bending knees if you need to, doblando rodillas si es necesario, con rodillas dobladas para principiantes, inhalo arriba, exhalo, cierro. That's an easy, great beginner uh, sun salutation. We're going to move to the next one a little bit more advanced. La que sigue es poquito más avanzada. I'll do them both in English and Spanish. Lo mismo, inhalo, inhale. Half a style, exhale. Knees bent or straight, rodillas dobladas o derechas, forward down. Halfway, inhalo, mitad arriba, todo el cuerpo, all the body goes up. Exhale, all the body falls, todo el cuerpo se dobla, se dobla, se dobla. Right leg back, inhale. Knee on the ground, and this time if you want, you can add the arms, esta vez si te sientes seguro, abres tus brazos. Exhalo, manos abajo, atrás. Ocho puntos con isquiones arriba, codos abrazados, elbows hug. And we're gonna go into full cobra, careful, inhale, slide forward. Level one stays here, level two rises higher. And on the exhale, go down. Inhale, rise up to down dog. And breathe three times. Respiras tres veces. If cobra hurt your back going high, I show you a low cobra first. Si bullangasana completa te lastimó, te quedas en la cobra pequeñita que hicimos al principio. Mindful. You've never done yoga before. It's normal that you're feeling a little bit tired right now. Si nunca has hecho yoga antes, absolutamente normal que te sientas poquito cansado. Pierna derecha, inhalo al frente, right foot forward, big step, big step, big step, if not help it. Exhale, fold, te doblas. And rise, inhale, lifting with care, hands touch. Exhalo, manos al pecho, other side, inhalo. Fluidito, exhalo. Mitad arriba, inhalas. Exhala, cierras, succión de tu vientre, pierna derecha atrás, inhalo, ligerito, planto rodilla, arms up if I need to or want to, exhalo, manos abajo, hands down to the ground, lift up your leg, go back, eight point pose, hugging the elbows, inhale, low cobra or high, your core. That's it. Elbows bent, pelvis on the ground, micro bent, shoulders down, and now go down, exhale, into down dog, arriba perro, and breathe here three times, respiras tres veces. Remember, in any moment you can stop your class Stay in these first few minutes until you feel confident with this first step on salutations. 
en cualquier momento le puedes poner ahí stop a la clase, no se va a ningún lado y ya que descanses, ya que hagas un poquito de más dominio en esto, continúas con lo demás. Miras al frente, look out forward y el izquierdo un paso grande, left inhale, big step. Exhale, close, forehead down to the knees. Inhale, go up, inhalo arriba. Exhalo. The last one, we're going to go flowing a little bit faster, how you see it in regular class. Esta última vez la vamos a hacer con flow, más fuertecita como la ves en clase. Inhalo. Exhalo. Inhale, halfway. Exhale, fold. Belly in, belly in, belly in. Right leg, inhale, back. Low lunge, lift. Quick exhalation, takes your hands back. Eight point pose. Inhale, you go into low cobra or high cobra as you wish. And one exhale takes you down and onto downer facing dog. Look out forward, miras al frente, inhalo, right foot forward between your hands, pie derecho al frente. Exhale, close, cierras. Inhale, rise, arriba. Exhale, hands in prayer. Otro lado, inhale. Exhale. Mitad arriba, halfway, inhale. Fold. Izquierdo atrás, left, inhale. Arms up. One breath, exhale, takes you back. Eight point pose. Inhale, low bhujangasana or full bhujangasana. And on the exhalation, through the knees and up to down dog. Left, izquierdo al frente, inhalo. And on the exhale, step to the front. Forehead down. Rise up, inhale. And exhale, hands in prayer. It's so good ever. So that was the first style, the Hatha Sun Salutation. It's like the big mama for all the other variation of Surya Namaskar. Esta fue la mama de todas las otras saludos al sol que le siguieron. We're going to go now, move forward with the famous Vinyasa. That it means, Vinyasa really move, uh, means movement with air and breath. El significado de la palabra vinyasa significa movimiento con respiración y aire. Entonces se puso de moda estas clases con saludos al sol A, donde les decimos, haga vinyasa, agrégale vinyasa. Entonces vinyasa lo que se entiende es un saludo al sol A, a sun salutation A. I'm going to teach you a very easy restorative variation and then I teach you the advanced variation. Te voy a enseñar una variación sencilla, terapéutica, y después te enseño la variación normal y real que hacen en las clases de Vinyasa y de Ashtanga. Please be careful with this one as they go a little bit faster. We're going to do the first couple slow. We're only going to do three. Vamos a hacer tres. So right here, standing into the front of your mat. Te vas a parar. In this time, we're going to invite the feet together and the toes touching. Con los pies y los dedos juntos y los tobillos juntos. Te paras aquí con manos en Anjali, hands in prayer position. Watch the standing pose. Te vas a fijar que estés bien paradito y fuerte. Now, on the next inhale, you're going to bring your arms up. Lift up. Everything goes up. On the exhale, bend the knees if you need to. Remember the first one is gentle. You go forward and down. Here is going to be a huge difference because you're going to do inhale, halfway, lift. 
Bend the knees and on the exhale, plant your hands on the ground, underneath the shoulders and step back into a high push-up position. Right away to make it restorative, bring the knees down, not into all fours, up to plank, knees down so you're into that 45 degree angle. Now right here, what you're gonna do is tops of the feet on the ground, Careful for shoulders, this is a great variation for people with shoulder injuries, no chaturangas. And just go into a relaxed upper dog, lifting, inhale, careful of your backs. And on the exhale, go through the knees and into downer facing dog, breathing three times. First one in English, second in Spanish. So as you see this, there was a variation here that have absolutely no chaturanga for people that chaturangas is not an option for rotator cuff injuries, bursitis on the shoulder. Please don't kill your shoulders over one movement. You can do other things. Now look out forward, take a deep inhale, inhalas profundo. Y en la exhalación, you're gonna try to step one foot and then the other forward to the front. If you couldn't make it in one step, you're gonna do few. Inhale, halfway, look up and away. Exhale, fall down. Bend knees for sensitive backs, and on the next inhale, you lift up, rise, and on the exhale, hands in prayer. So as you see, it was a small version of the first Surya Namaskar. Como te pudiste dar cuenta, fue como un resumen de la primera versión. We repeated gentle in Spanish. Lo repetimos terapéutico en español. Manos al pecho, levanta corazón, inhale, inhala. Doblas, bend, exhale, al frente y abajo, forward and down. Mitad de arriba, inhalo. On the exhalation, plant your hands on the ground, going to high push-up. Terapéutico, rodillas abajo, plantas los empeines, aquí en este grado de 45, y ahí mismo inhala, perro boca arriba, sin chatoranga, especialmente si tus hombros no lo toleran. Y en la exhalación nos vamos a ir hacia las rodillas y a perro boca abajo y respirar tres. Going in through your chatoranga, downer facing dog, and breathe three times. Strong in your body, fuerte en tu cuerpo. Inhale, move the chest up, look out forward, and on the exhale, step to the front. Paso al frente, inhalo, mitad arriba. Exhalo, nos doblamos. Inhalo otra vez, arriba, arriba, arriba. Exhalo, cierro. Ok. La que sigue por primera vez vamos a hablar de las chatorangas en clase. Chatorangas mal hechas les están costando los hombros a mucha gente en yoga. Bad habits en chatoranga is taking shoulders in injury all over the world. Chatoranga is not easy. With time it will get easy, but it's better to develop good habits. So here with my arm i want to show you when you start into push-up when you go into chaturanga this movement needs to happen inner rotation of the shoulder and hugging in of the elbow instead of this and down and collapsing cuando vas a hacer el chaturanga el hombro necesita estar adentro 
a la hora de bajar la flexión se queda contenida en lugar de dejar que el hombro se abra de esta manera por favor cuidado be careful with this this is what not to do ¿Qué no hacer por ejemplo, aquí te voy a hacer una malecha. I'm going to do one a little bit with bad habits so you can see what I'm talking about. And maybe I'm going to give you a front profile so you can see it better. Esto es a lo que me refiero. Esto es lo que daña el hombro. Te lo doy de perfil. Fíjate cómo se va el cuello y fíjate cómo todo tu cuerpo se colapsa al frente. This is what it harms. This is what it keeps the quality. Now I'm going to show you how it needs to be done correctly. Te voy a enseñar cómo se hace correctamente una. And if you can't do it, great. If you can't, knees on the ground will help. Si la puedes hacer completita adelante y si no puedes con rodillas al piso. Let's go with those chaturangas. You can do it. Vamos. Good. Stand to the front. First of all, plug the shoulder. Mete los hombros. Inhalo, arms up. Exhale, cascade forward and down. Cascada al frente y abajo. Inhale, halfway, mitad arriba. On the exhale, plant your hands and go back to a high push-up. Here we go. Chaturanga, one line, elbows hugging, hugging, hugging. No more than this. Lift up, upper dog, your extension. And on the exhale, downward facing dog. How was that? Do you see that the alignment continue? Elbows hugging in towards my body. Manteniendo el alineamiento en la chatoranga sin que se colapse el esternón primero y que se abran los codos. Todo en una línea. Inhale, look forward. Exhale, step or jump to the front. You can step as I show you. If you're a little bit more limber, you can try a jump. Inhale, halfway. Exhale, fold, fold, fold. Arriba, inhalas. Exhala. Vamos a fluir con saludo al sol. A, inhalo. Exhalo, cascadita. Inhalo, mitad arriba. Exhalo, planto manos. Camino o atrás a plancha. Fíjate, la chaturanga bien hechecita. Aquí te quedas. Inhala, arriba. Exhala, downer facing dog. Good habits en chaturanga. Breathe here three times. Sun salutation A. If chaturanga for now is a fiasco, it's normal, it takes time. The next variation I show you with knees on the ground. La chaturanga si ahorita no te salió, te enseño la última variación con rodillas al piso. Look forward, inhale. And on the exhale, step or jump to the front. Inhalo arriba. Exhale, fold. And rise, inhale all the way up. Exhale, hands and pray. Last variation, knees on the ground in case that this was not possible. Con las rodillas en el piso en caso de que esto no fue posible. Inhalo. Exhalo lo mismo, the same thing. Inhale halfway. Exhale, high push up. Right there. Knees on the ground. Do your chaturanga right here. Inhale. Lift. Exhalo con rodillas en el piso atrás a perro. Respira tres. Breathe three times. Look out forward, miras al frente, inhalas, exhalas, salta o caminas, inhalo mitad arriba, exhalo, 
y en una sola respiración one breath inhale rise exhale all right how's it going how are you feeling so we have done Surya Namaskar, half a star, Surya Namaskar A, and we're gonna move with, we have time, Surya Namaskar B, hicimos saludo al sol A, eh, el saludo al sol Hatha, y seguimos con el saludo al sol B. The sun salutation B includes warrior one, and the first one I'm gonna detail, teach you how it goes, and the next two we're gonna flow. The same chaturangas, the same forward bends, the only new thing is a warrior. En el saludo al sol B es como un saludo al sol a una viñaza con un guerrero uno al frente. Te voy a dar detalle en el guerrero la primera y las después fluimos. Remember, do little cobras if the big upper dogs don't work. Haces cobras pequeñitas si tu levantamiento te lastima en tu espalda. Seguimos. One thing that we add in the sun salutation B is Ukatasana Fierce Pose. The feet goes together. Vamos a añadir una, añadir una silla, pies juntos, samasiri, manos al corazón. Ukatasana, silla. A la hora de inhalar, te lo hago en cámara lenta, a slow motion photo. You bend the knees, arms go back and lift. En la exhalación te doblas, on the exhale you fall forward and down. On the next inhale, one more time you come halfway. On the exhale, plant your hands on the ground and step back to high push up. You can jump if you want. With or without chaturanga you go down. Inhale, upper dog, low cobra, sphinx, whatever you need to do to keep your back healthy. Exhale, downer facing dog. Here we go, warrior one. As you inhale, right leg step forward between your hands. Back heel is gonna land right away. Lift up, rise up. Hands together, temple mudra. Hips are square to the front, knee bent over the ankle. Heel planted, second one in Spanish. And slowly exhale, bring your hand down, scoot your leg back, add a chaturanga or the therapeutic version, inhale, upper dog, or you can do a low cobra as you wish, exhale, downer facing dog, breathe here three times, respiras tres veces. La respiración del océano recomendadísima en tus saludos al sol. Ujjayi breath, super recommended on your sun salutations. Mira al frente, inhale, look out forward. And on the exhale, you step to the front or jump, whatever feels better. Mitad arriba, inhale, halfway. Exhale, fold. Bench your knees, doblas rodillas, inhale, ukatasana, lift, and on the exhalation, finish with hands in prayer, good, en español el otro lado, Spanish the other side, ukatasana, inhalas, doblas, hacia arriba, en la exhalación bajas, te vas o caminas a tu plancha, con o sin chatoranga bajas, inhala, cobra pequeña o perro boca arriba, exhala, perro boca abajo, guerrero uno, lado izquierdo, inhala, pie al frente, pie de abajo aterriza, escuadras tu cadera, mirando al frente, caderas al frente, brazos arriba, eso, que no se te abra la cadera de lado, mirando al frente. Inhalo. Exhalo, baja tus manos. Repites tu plancha. Te bajas con una chatoranga. Inhala, perro boca arriba. E 
exhalo perro boca abajo con el recordatorio que si la espina dorsal molesta en perros boca arriba puedes hacer una cobra pequeñita a sweet reminder that if upper dogs hurt you in your back you can do a small a little lift look out forward inhala miras todo hacia el frente fíjate el movimiento y en la exhalación ya sea saltas o caminas al frente inhala mitad arriba exhalo doblo sillita de regreso chair pose inhale splashing on water lift and close y cierras con ritmo rhythm inhalo me siento exhalo bajo the next variation I'm gonna do it without chatorangas sin chatorangas inhalo mitad de arriba restorative way exhalo atrás plancha rodillas abajo empeines al piso inhale upper dog without chatoranga exhale downward facing dog Warrior one, inhale, step forward. Plant your foot, rise. Exhale, down again. Doing an option with no chaturanga back, knees on the floor. Inhale, upper dog. No impact on your shoulders. Exhale, downer dog. Left leg, inhale, forward. Izquierda al frente. Ese guerrero arriba. Otra vez, manos hasta abajo, atrás, eso, sin chatoranga, abres, exhalo, perro boca abajo, respira cinco, Mira al frente, inhala. Exhala, salta o camina. Inhala, mitad arriba. Exhala, con rodillas dobladas bajo o extendidas, como sea. Silla, inhalas. Exhala, cierra. And the last one, la última fluida. Como son de verdad en una clase de vinyasa o ashtanga, the last one is going to be with flow. How they really are, these ones in a vinyasa or an ashtanga class, that we do them faster and often. Let's inhale, ukatasana. Exhale, utatasana. Inhale, halfway. Chaturanga, exhale. Urdamuka, inhale. Adamuka, exhale. Vivandrasana one, warrior one, inhale, right leg, land, lift. Chaturanga, exhale. Upper dog, inhale. Downer dog, exhale. Left, inhale, forward. Warrior one, lift. Exhale, hands down. Chaturanga, inhale. And exhale. Respira. We use these to warm up, so it's absolutely okay if you feel shaky and warm. Utilizamos estas para calentamiento, entonces es absolutamente normal que ahorita estés agitado, cansado, tembloroso. Mira al frente, inhalo. Y en la exhalación salto camino, step or jump to the front, inhalo mitad de arriba, exhalo, ukatasana inhale, we're almost closing, and exhale samasiri standing. So there you got it, all the sun salutation styles. Now, this was a class focusing only on sun salutations. I want to give you time to relax, to rest. 
Este fue un flow, secuencia nada más enseñándote las diferentes saludos al sol. It's absolutely normal that you feel warmed up into your body. We're going to sit down for a moment. Breathe. Let your heart come down. Que el corazón empiece a bajar. And now just lie down for full shavasana back to your mat. Te regresas a tu tapete, nos vamos a relajación total. Listos. Acuéstate. Lie down on the ground. Sun salutation is an extremely complete flow. As you can notice, it was not only one asana, there were actually few. Como pudiste darte cuenta, el saludo al sol es súper completo. No nada más hiciste una, una postura, hiciste muchas. Es kind of a very lovely way to keep your body tone and fit and mobile. Es una manera muy sana y muy linda de mantener tu cuerpo activo, flexible y fuerte a la vez. For example, sometimes when I travel and I don't have time to necessarily do an hour practice, I will do 10 or 15 sun salutations. A veces por ahí cuando anda uno fuera y no tiene tiempo una hora y media de dedicarla a práctica, por lo menos en la mañana al despertar, unos 15 o 10 saluditos al sol para dejar que esa energía se active. You're also letting the circulation on your body arise. You're stimulating your organs, stimulando órganos, opening and also getting those chakras, getting balance. Uno de los atributos y beneficios más grandes y lindos del saludo al sol es que estimulas chakra y balanceo de ellos directamente. Very, very cohesive way, meditative way to do yoga. El saludo al sol es esa manera de hacer un poquito de yoga repetitivo con las secuencias que te deja hacer casi como una meditación en movimiento. Vibrate right now into the result of your class if you did it all. Vibras ahorita en cómo se sintió tu cuerpo después de la clase, si es que la hiciste toda. If you decide to skip some part of your classes, si por ahí decidiste saltarte algunas partes de tu clase, you have this class recorded for whenever you want to visit the three styles of sun salutations. Tienes esta clase grabadita por ahí para las veces que quieras visitarla.
This is your class. This is your moment. If you have the need to do a longer Shavasana, please stay on the ground for more time and just even have a little nap if you feel like it. Estás en tu casa, es tu práctica. Si sientes que necesitas más relajación, apágale a la compu y hasta duérmete un ratito. If you're ready to return, we're going to move the feet and the toes. Vamos a empezar a mover tus pies, los dedos. Bring the legs into center. Regresa las piernas al centro. Hug them. Abrázalas. Rock side to side, shoulder to shoulder, de lado a lado. Vas a girar de ladito en posición fetal, close to whatever side you feel comfortable, and then bring yourself up, te levantas. Sit in su casana for a moment. Vamos a sentarnos en su casana. Side effects of this class, it might be that you feel very energetic, very strong. Efectos de esta clase puede ser que te sientas muy fuerte, muy activado. Also, a good side effect is a better understanding of how sun salutations work according to the yoga style you're practicing. Otro es saber un poquito más de los saludos al sol y los muchos estilos de yoga que se practican como Ashtanga, como Vinyasa, como Hatha y como cada sistema adopta un sistema diferente de hacer Surya Namaskar. I hope this brings a little bit of more understanding. Remember, have patience with sun salutations. Acuérdate de tener paciencia con los saludos al sol. Do tangible goals, as, este, así como metas tangibles que puedas hacer. A lo mejor si eres nuevo en esto, empieza con tres, a la semana que sigue le subes a cinco y así progresivamente para que el próximo solsticio o equinoccio hagamos 108 juntos. Practice slowly, Rome was not built in a day and hopefully from here to the next solstice or equinox we can do 108 sun salutations together thank you for tuning in i hope you enjoy it om shanti shanti namaste happy surya namaskar day feliz dia del saludo al sol <laughs>